When replacing a diffuser, you'll need the crimping tool supplied with the spare parts for this project. Place the crimping tool on either side of the ear of the stepless ear clamp and locate the small hooks on the clamp. Squeezing the crimping tool tightly, bend the ear away from the tiny hooks. The clamp should snap off easily. Repeat this for the other end of the tube. Slide the membrane off the diffuser tube. Locate the holes on the diffuser tube. This is where the air comes out of the tube and are important for proper alignment of the new diffuser membrane. Examine the membrane and find the perforated and non-perforated sections of the membrane. When you slide the new mini panel membrane onto the tube, you must be certain that the non-perforated sections cover the holes on the side of the diffuser tube assembly. This assures that if the air is shut off to the system, the non-perforated sections will cover the tube holes and prevent solids from entering the air system. Using new stepless ear clamps, clip the clamp together on one end. For EPDM rubber membranes, the ear should be on the top of the membrane, and for polyurethane membranes, the ear should be placed at 45 degrees from the top of the unit. Take care that the clamp is parallel with the end of the membrane. If the clamp is tilted one way or the other, it will leak. Crimp the ear of the clamp together as far as the crimping tool will go. The clamps are designed to fit perfectly when fully compressed. Repeat this on the other end of the membrane. This membrane is now ready to be put back into service.